Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for February 24th, 2021. So yesterday we had some wild price action, a little bit of volatility. Dow sank about 300 points and then roared right back after Jerome Powell kind of calmed fears, said that they are going to stay on the gas with their accommodative policies and the market surged back up. However, there are some questions still to be answered in the market. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle in, and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the morning market prep video. Well, this morning, guys, we have a little bit of a mixed bag, a little, little bullishness, a little bit of question that still has to be answered. Let's take a look at that in the charts. First off, let's look at this diamonds chart. And you can see the diamonds um, roaring back yesterday with lots and lots of confidence overall. And you can see we're holding on, we defended this support level and trend yesterday. So those bulls came in defending that support level, holding on to it nicely and um, continuing to show bullishness this morning, trying to push on through. As a matter of fact, the possibility is the Dow could set new records uh, today if we can break through this um, upper side of resistance. Um, however, futures seem to be just a little bit, um, well, they're kind of seesawing back and forth this morning. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. Anything is possible by the time we reach that open. But let's watch that closely. That is definitely a bullish chart. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now the SPY had a little bit more of um, a challenge yesterday and we still have a couple questions that have to be answered. First off, notice that if we were to draw this trend, depending on how you want to draw that trend, um, if I draw it right through this area, we essentially broke the trend to the upside. Now you may want to draw that and give it just a little bit more space and I don't think that's wrong um, coming in here. That would suggest that we failed it and then turned right around and grabbed on and uh, pushed right back up. Now that being said, we still have some price resistance right here in the chart and price resistance of that consolidating area right there. And if we happen to add in this little downtrend of that lower high, as you can see, we've created a interesting little resistance area right here in the chart that still could challenge that SPY. Now the question is, will the bears have any energy at all? Um, um, you know, with the house moving forward with 1.9 trillion in stimulus, who knows, but will they have enough energy to defend this area up here? And honestly, I don't know. We'll want to watch that pretty closely though, because there is some concern here. We still have to recover that area. Then if we take a look, oh, and by the way, if we take a look at moving averages, notice that we came close to testing that 50 day, but not quite there yet. So watch that closely. If we take a look at um, the NASDAQ QQQ, you can see in the NASDAQ we have a bit more of a concern that we have to deal with. Notice that we broke, and I think this is an official break of the trend. Um, I don't think anyone could draw that any other way without seeing a trend break. We also created this lower high over here in the chart that's suggesting a downtrend. And if we start moving back up, notice we've got some resistance levels that we need to deal with here in the chart. First, if we kind of take the underneath side of this little uh, hump right here, take an underneath side of this, you can see we've got a little price resistance right there. We got a little price resistance as we cross back through the top of that. And we've got some price resistance if we can get back up through that trend right through here. So the NASDAQ has some work to do and there's some questions to be answered. And I think the major question is if we start moving back up, will we be able to get through this point right here? 
can we see enough bullish action to push through that? Because if we were to push up into here, this is actually a potential failure point of the market and where I would be watching um, for a potential short if we fail in that area. And if we take a look at our moving averages, notice that we did fail through our 50 day moving average yesterday, but we turned around, grabbed a hold of it and pushed back up. So we still have this question in the NASDAQ and does the NASDAQ have the power to pull the rest of the indexes down? That is a question. If we were to fail here and the other indexes uh, trying to remain positive, it's going to be difficult for them to continue to float higher if the NASDAQ starts to show a little bit of concern. One thing I got to say that was really interesting yesterday is look at this volume spike. Um, that typically, well, in the past, that would be a volume spike that would suggest an exhaustion um, level of volume. Now, with the introduction of dark pools and those kind of things, it could be nothing more than the dark pools rushing back in um, uh, to this market. So I'm not exactly sure that we could call that an exhaustion level of exhaustion or um, a volume, but certainly notable and we'll want to pay attention to that. Uh, because that was that was a huge surge um, in volume there on the NASDAQ. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM held up much better and we know those oil sector and financial sector stocks held up quite well yesterday. Um, but we still have a little bit of concern here. First, we still haven't broken this little downtrend. Now it is a small minor downtrend and we did prove to hold this support level in the chart. But as you guys know, for me, there's no bullish trade until we can break the downtrend, prove support, and then we resume. We get that higher low in here, and now I have that proof of a resumption of trend. Until that occurs, I'm always going to be a little bit skeptical and questioning whether or not we could just push right back into that resistance area and turn around and fail. Note also that we have a little price resistance right in here. So we've got that little double whammy working right here. We need to be able to push on through there, and so there's still a tiny bit of question here on IWM as well that we need to be watching for. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now the VIX, quite interesting yesterday in that we spiked up hard and then really at the end of the day, the end of the day surge really brought this VIX back down substantially. And notice that we ran up there, we even hit the 200 day moving average, but we ended up closing below its 50 day moving average. Now what that suggests to me is we still have a lot of uncertainty. When we see big wicks and tails like this, there's still a lot of concern out there in the market. And that fear could really spike back really quickly if there happens to be some kind of a stumble. But watch that closely. Now, if we're going to be setting new record highs, we really should be breaking these lows. We shouldn't be holding that VIX up here. And if you guys are option traders, if you noticed options were just, well, they were a mess yesterday. Um, you could you could tell that even market makers were spreading out spreads, making it very, very difficult to trade them. Um, because they have some concern as well. So watch that closely. I'm not exactly sure what this is showing us, but there is some uncertainty here in the VIX and we'll want to pay close attention to that. Then if we take a look at T2122, T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And if we take a look at that, that rally back yesterday really at one point in time t2122 was down here when we were down 300 points in the dow but we bounced right back hard so what that says um, uh, for us in this chart is we've kind of narrowed the opportunity on the upside here quite a bit that we're still back up here in this bearish resistance or bearish reversal zone. And we could push up higher. We have an open window there for that push up higher, but we still have this big open window to the downside. So we have to stay on our toes. We can't just assume that everything is going to be all bullish all the time. Those bears are starting to show much more feistiness in um, their 
their uh, price action work. So watch that carefully. And if we take a look at T2101, I got to tell you, um, with the market surging back like it has and seeing the absolute market breadth indicator just absolutely tanking uh, back down, that raises some concern for me as well. So just keep an eye on this. There's a little bit of uncertainty out there, but um, if you if you load in the whole idea that the house is going to pass a 1.9 trillion dollar stimulus package you may look at that and say look i just think there's no way the bears can push this down and that may be true on the other hand we have to have that question in our mind have we already priced that in um, we've known that have has been on the horizon for some time and if they pass it um, still has to go to the senate but um, if they pass it, uh, have we already priced that into the market? So questions that still have to be answered, we'll want to watch that carefully. And if you want a representation of just how choppy things are, um, go to a 15-minute chart. And I'm going to actually go to a 15-minute chart with the moving averages and actually remove the price from that. And let's take a look at the 15-minute price action in here. This is what we've been dealing with in this market. And just keep in mind that we surge up and surge back down, surge up, surge back down, surge up, surge back down, surge up. So there's no confidence here yet that we couldn't surge back down. So what we need to see is we need to see some proof that we're going to hold and then bounce off of that. Even on that short term chart, we haven't really gotten a lot of confidence here um, overall in that chart. So be a little bit careful and make sure you temper that bullish attitude where we see folks just rushing back in and trying to pretend there's nothing wrong. There is some concern here and there's reason to be just a little tiny bit cautious on this market. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, we got a couple of things that we'll want to pay attention to. Um, first off, we have more testimony from Jerome Powell. I don't expect we learn anything new there. We'll want to pay attention to that. And probably the thing that could move us the most this morning would be the new home sales. Um, we've seen home sales starting to um, well, home numbers starting to show a little bit of signs of weakness. Now, I can't tell you that it's worked into the new home sales yet, but we'll want to watch that. As a matter of fact, consensus is suggesting we should see a higher number. So watch that closely. That could move us around this morning. I don't expect we're going to learn anything new from Jerome Powell today, but you always want to pay attention to that. And then we do have the petroleum status number out there that we'll want to pay attention to, along with um, a parade of other Fed speakers out there today. Now remember, tomorrow is likely going to be the big day on the economic calendar with durable goods, GDP, and jobless claims. Watch that carefully. We've got pending home sales as well in there. That could be an interesting morning, so make sure you're thinking about that risk as you move forward, uh, planning uh, for the next day. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we've got a busy day today. More than 170 companies reporting. And um, if you guys would like, I can't, there's, whoops, there's no way that I can cover um, all of the notables this morning. So if you want a full list of the notables that I've pulled out, make sure you click that link just below the title of the video, and that will get you to uh, those notables um, in the blog this morning. Um, but let's take a look at a couple. We're going to hear from uh, DDD today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. DDD has been in a really substantial, huge upside move, and then we've pulled back here recently. So watch that report. We're going to hear from BHC today. BHC has been in a beautiful upside trend. Notice how we've been consolidating this move right here, waiting on this earnings report. Um, we're coming out here to trend, so it could be kind of critical on that earnings report. Keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from um, HZNP. Um, 
Horizon Therapeutics will want to watch those reports. We've got Lowe's. Now, Lowe's has already reported this morning. They had blowout earnings, a 28% increase, but they did warn that they believe the DIY uh, trend is going to quickly subside. So watch that carefully today. We're showing bullishness this morning in the pre-market, um, but watch that carefully this morning. Um, we've got NVIDIA this afternoon and that will be one of the big tech reports this afternoon that we'll want to keep a close eye on notice that nvidia has been backing up testing some price support here in the chart nice little hammer yesterday and trying to follow through so watch that carefully around the earnings report today uh, that will be one of our bigger um, tech reports today that we'll want to keep an eye on. So with that, everyone, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if um, you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos. If you could please um, check or click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if um, you feel that this video was worthy, if it helped you in um, getting ready for your day, kind of removing the hype and really looking at the technicals, if you could do me a favor as well and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. I truly, truly appreciate it. That um, honestly means a ton to me. You guys are awesome. And I just want to say a huge shout, shout out to those folks who are um, utilizing that buy me a coffee to support the channel. Um, that link is just below the title of the video. Um, you'll see it down there. I just want to say thank you to everyone. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. That money will be going into uh, new equipment and thanks to try and enhance the videos and do a better job for you guys out there um, uh, as we move along. So thank you so much. Let's take a look at some of these stock starts stocks that are looking good and one of the things you're going to notice is there's hammer patterns all over the market now a hammer pattern if it's placed near price support can be a really good sign as long as that hammer pattern gets some follow-through now I, I mentioned Ford the other day and Ford had a pretty rough day yesterday I'm holding this and I'm still happily holding this and you can see that we sank pretty hard yesterday um, on that sell-off, but we're getting some follow-through here this morning trying to push on through. So a hammer requires a follow-through, and the hammer also has to be located in an area where it makes some sense, okay? Like we're testing or holding a support level, that makes some sense, or we're at the low of a pattern, that makes some sense. So keep an eye on Ford, looks like that has an opportunity to push on through to the upside. Take a look at Disney. Now Disney continues its move up, and even with yesterday's um, nutty price action, Disney followed through with that big bullish candle, breaking through that resistance. There's my alert on that chart. Moving on up, looking very, very strong overall. So keep a close eye on that. Um, I wouldn't want to chase it at this point. As a matter of fact, what I'd want to do is I'd wait for, want to wait for a little bit of a rest or a pullback to look for the next opportunity into the trade. But keep a close eye on that. Pretty nice looking chart. Um, charts like Snap. Snap just roared back yesterday. Look at this unbelievably huge bullish engulfing candle. We fired down here yesterday and this came roaring back. Um, big bullish move here in Snap and I think Snap is looking good trying to follow through today. Although uh, there may be a difficulty here because such a big move makes uh, put some risk um, to your stop loss on this. So you might want to wait for the next entry into that trade, but watch that carefully. Snap looking very, very good overall. Taking a look at some of these um, little retailers, take a look at like um, UAA. UAA had a rough day yesterday as well, selling off, pulling back. But notice that what picked back up, trying to push on through. And if we look at some of these others like um, Gap, GPS, ugly, ugly price action yesterday pulling back, but moving right on up, trying to push on through. ANF showing that bullishness, holding on to that support, hammering right here, trying to push on through. We need a little follow through here today. Keep an eye on that. Um, 
um, AEO, AEO um, also responded very, very strongly yesterday, showing that bullish action in here, pushing on up. Now, with that said, we also saw some really interesting action in some uh, more old boring type stocks. Let's take a look at Oracle. Oracle, this is a position that I hold. So just um, full disclosure here, I have a little bit of bias on this trade. But notice that we surged hard the other day and we ended up following through yesterday with a little bit of upside move, albeit it pulled back toward the end of the day. Now I expect a little rest or consolidation to come into this trade, but the reason I'm holding this position might be a little bit different. And as I mentioned um, yesterday, I'm gonna start talking a little bit more about some of my longer term holds and I'll be doing some education on some longer term holds. And the reason is, is because I just, I make really good money holding stocks um, a little bit longer term. And all I have to do is switch this to a weekly chart and you can see this nice pattern that's formed in here. Um, I entered on this candle here. You can see we had to pull back and test support and now we're pushing on through. And on that weekly, all we really need to do is break through this top side. Notice that I put a channel on this chart and we're down here. We're at the bottom side of this channel. We're proving to hold a support level. And I think there's um, every reason to believe that um, Oracle could move on up to the upside of this channel. So keep a close eye on it. It's looking pretty good right at the moment and holding up quite well. Um, also take a look at Altria. Now Mo is struggling with this resistance level in the chart, but what I want to show you here is this big long downtrend that's been defeated. We broke that big long downtrend, rallied up out of there. Now any consolidation against this um, resistance level or pullback is okay with me as long as we hold this upside trend. So if we can hold in here, keep an eye on that. And it is possible with the bullishness of the market that we see this morning. Um, you can see pre-market, we're trying to push on back up here in Mo. And if we can push on through and hold that level up there, hey, more upside to come. So watch those charts. With that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks for watching, everyone. And once again, just a shout out to those on the Buy Me coffee thank you so much guys um, truly you humble me every day with your kind words and support of the channel thank you so much um, everyone take care have a great day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning